We're back for another week here on Unorthodox Sports. It's been an amazing week for WC Athletics as they dominated the competition. Stay tuned as this week I'll give you guys your Cougar outlook. What's up, Cableites? I'm your host, Damon Alvarado, and if you missed out on the games this past week, that's okay. Well, no, I'm just kidding. It's not okay. And let me tell you why. Uh, women's volleyball swept Cal this past weekend. You had women's basketball winning the Apple Cup versus Washington, and our men's baseball team looking explosive. They put up 19 runs and 15, but let's move forward with the show. Moving on to women's basketball, like I said earlier, they defeated Washington for the Apple Cup. And let March Madness begin. The women will head to Las Vegas and start their championship post versus Utah on Sunday. It was a job well done to women's volleyball. They didn't allow Cal to get a single set against them. That was pretty amazing. Uh, they uh, they swept them 2-0 and improved to 8-2 on the season. Their next stop, the City of Angels. They will be taking on a struggling USC team this Friday and Sunday. So this past weekend I had the chance to cover women's volleyball and I was truly amazed by how they played. A lot of great women and a lot of them who I wanted to choose for this week's unorthodox athlete of the week but men's baseball also dominated versus Dixie State as they put up 15 runs and 19 runs Dixie State was a school I applied for to get an easy acceptance and what it looks like from their baseball team is they did the same thing with their recruiting but that is enough trash talk both volleyball team and baseball team are your unorthodox team of the week if you take a look at some of the stats here, Volleyball ended the night Friday hitting 506 as a team, marking it the second best all time in WCU history. And a few also led the way with 37 assists out of the 40 total. As for the baseball team, they scored 19 runs, which is the most since scoring 20 in 2013. Zay Mills had a 13 strikeout performance on Saturday, and Kyle Manzardo has a hitting streak of 25 games, making it second in school history, trailing three games behind Sean Stevenson, who accomplished this in the 1997-98 season. Men's baseball improved to 7-1 for the first time since 2010. There's a lot of hopes and aspirations for this team. They will start their first series of games versus Seattle this Friday, starting at 4 p.m., then finish things off on Sunday. Men's golf will be at the Bandon Dunes Championship in Oregon this upcoming Sunday. Next off, both the men's and women's cross-country teams will be competing in the Pac-12 Championship this Friday. The women's soccer team is 4-0-1 after splitting their series versus Utah this past weekend. They will head to Arizona this week where they will take on Arizona State on Friday and Arizona on Sunday. Lastly, women's tennis improved to 5-4 after defeating Idaho. They will be home this weekend versus UCLA on Friday and USC on Sunday. Well, that wraps up your Cougar Outlook here on Unorthodox Sports. As always, we show you what others cannot. Thank you guys for watching today's video. As always, like, subscribe, and watch some WC Athletics. I promise you, you're going to enjoy them. As always, Damon Alvarado, signing off.